Hey YouTube, what's up? Ryan here from Terror Tech Entertainment, here to show you how to make a 1.9 pre-release 4 server for Minecraft. So, first off, what you're going to need to do, right here on your desktop, you're going to want to create a new folder. So, create one, you can call it whatever you want, you can call it Minecraft server, but I'm going to call it 1.9 PR4 server. That's not a 4. Alright, so now that you have your folder done, you want to go here to the Minecraft forums. I'll leave a link down in the description. And then scroll down a little ways until you see the 1.9 pre-release 4 is out. So what you're going to want to do here is where it says hopefully hosters can get the new server.jar right here. You want to click on that right here and it will download it. So then it's going to download this .jar file. So what you want to do, you just want to drag that into your server folder. Alright, now once you have that done, you're going to want to open up Terminal. You can find that by going up into Spotlight and typing in Terminal. And... no. Yeah. And then it should be top hit right there. Then when you open that up, you get this right here. And then what you're going to want to do, you want to type in CD space. Make sure you have a space. And then you want to drag in your server folder. So once you drag that in, hit enter. And then now that that's done, you need to add this line of code. So right here, I'll go ahead and leave it under the description. And so it's going to determine these certain numbers right here about how much memory you want your server to run. Since right now I am since I have a 4 gigabyte memory computer I'm going to be using 2 gig of RAM on my server. So how you can find out how much RAM you have you want to hit the Apple and hit about this Mac and that loads up and then hit more info And over here in memory, just click on that, and it says 4 gigabyte installed. You can also see it here in the overview, so 4 gigabyte. So depending on how much you have, you want to save at least half of it not running. So depending on if you have 1 gig, you should probably use 512 for this number. If you have 2 gig, use 1024. For 4 gig, you should use 2048, and so on. I'll leave a few down under the description on what you should use. So I'm going to be using 2 gigabytes. So then just copy that, paste it here into the terminal, and hit enter. So then it's going to spawn up your worlds and all this stuff for your new thing. So, how to find your IP address, which other people are going to need to access your server. You can go here into the internet and then go to this website called canyouseeme.org. So, right here, I'm not going to show it, but right here is my global IP address. So, you're going to want to see that, and that's the IP that you're going to give to friends. Do not give this out to people you do not want accessing your computer. And then right here where it says what port, it's going to be open on the port 25565. So type that in and hit check when your server is open. And right here it says success for me. If your port is not open, you're going to have to go into your router by typing in your local IP address up here and forwarding that port which there are other videos on YouTube that will show you how to do that and how to find your local IP address go up here to where your Wi-Fi is, click it then hit open network preferences and then once that is open it will show you your local IP address right here okay so now that you have that just open up Minecraft be sure to leave the terminal up and running for that is your server and every time you're done with the terminal just hit, just type in stop on it, and that will stop your server. Type in stop, hit enter, and your server stopped, and every time you want to load it up, you're going to have to put in that line of code that I showed you earlier. 
So then, let's just log in. So as you can see right here, Minecraft Beta 1.9 pre-release 4. So then you want to go into your multiplayer. And then, I already have mine all set up right here. So, you want to either type in under Add Server. You can name it whatever you want, doesn't matter. And then under Server Address, you want to type in either your local IP address, your global IP address, or type in local host, one word. And then hit Done. And then you can use that, and then just join the server. As you can see, it's up and running, and it works just like Minecraft. So, and if you want friends to join, you're going to want them to type in your global IP address. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Hope you found this video informative and helpful. And please comment if you have any questions, and be sure to subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you next time.